Hi, I'm Milena Moser. I'm from Switzerland, as you can probably hear. And I'm reading from my first book in English, Fool's Journey. I meant to go on a road trip. For years I've been talking about it. For my 50th birthday, I would take three months off and drive across the US in a rental car, completely alone, completely without a set route or goal, following only my inner voice, which would say, Turn right here, stop, stay the night, or it's boring here, go on. Because my inner voice, in the course of my long and unhappily ended marriage, had gotten small and silent. On the road, the classic rite of passage for generations of young men, before and after Jack Kerouac. A time of freedom, after leaving school and before the beginning of real life. I would enter it as an aging woman, between family life and what? To find that out, I had to travel by myself, because even the most considered travel companion would derail me from the idea and drown my inner voice, which, rather than decide, would keep asking, are you hungry? Do you want to stop here? Do you like this motel? Or should we look for another one? Relying completely on myself, taking care of no one else, I would get to know myself all over again. But the closer the departure came, the less I looked forward to it. Because in the years between coming up with this plan and its execution, I had ended my marriage. I lived alone and I heard my inner voice speaking loud and clear. And it said, the last thing I want to do right now is to sit alone in a car for days. Bad timing, you could say. Many would have forced the issue, not me. To go about it in this way would have meant to ignore precisely what it was all about. More important than the great idea was the question behind it. What do I want? Maybe the most radical question for a woman with children. So I sat myself down and tried to listen. What am I missing? Not much, just happiness. <laughs> Don't worry, I did find it eventually. <laughs>